Hey, I'm Decathlon Gamer, and this is The Road to the Record, where I work to achieve mastery of 10 games and a hunt for the best score of the Decathlon. If you like what you see, remember to hit that like button. If you want to see more, hit subscribe. Let the games begin. This is Stellaris, and it's week 28 of competition. My goals are a little bit open-ended at the moment, um, but I definitely would like to add Research a plan included. Uh, and continue to catch up on those around me. Oh, nice. That should be a good bonus there. I want to continue to uh, improve my fortresses. Oh, that's cheap. Let's get that one done. I've got to get out of this bottom tier of quality level. Uh, at some point here, I'm going to be turning my attention to uh, Moy's Huxkin and trying to claim some of their territory uh, and also provide some of that towards my allies. Kind of sweep through them pretty quick. I'd also like to try to get uh, Queromulon into uh, the Federation, uh, as we are pretty friendly. Which would mean Moise Huxkin would be the first target, and then eventually Tyal. Colonization is going to go with this planet that's. Concluded. There you go. Just finished. Just finished. There we go. Down here. Terraforming. Ooh, nice little bonus to food, even though I have a lot of food already. Uh, but I'll take that. some exploration. We'll have to look into that. It'd be nice to see where that is now that it's uh, fixed. slowly start to uh, building the outposts along here there's a lot of resources in there that are untapped it's just that it slows down research gain the more you add and as we've got everyone else totally cut off from it it's not something I need to add rapidly Oh, there we go. I already signed. Receiving transmission. Ooh, trade deal. Okay. I'll take that. I can certainly afford the minerals. No, I'm not taking that phone call. Same automated sales call that I've gotten about four times a day for the last what five days or so they're relentless okay 
Should probably get another planet going on terraforming as well. Keep that pretty steady at one. There's a 19. Research concluded. All right, see, that was cheap, that was fast. Okay, Durasteel armor is a nice upgrade. Flak cannons could be. Uh, what do we get for this? Energy weapon damage. Okay, there you go. Construction project concluded. And that new frontier outpost is construction that much stronger project now. concluded. I should start back here. It's completely safe back there. Nobody's gonna ever steal that planet. Plus I've got all of those untapped resources still in here. Oh, and see, there's four of them right there. So, we're gonna go and do these. And then, terraform this one. And I am continental. And there you go. Construction project concluded. Alright, meanwhile, I still have plenty of tiles that could be upgraded or even cleared. Research concluded. So, plenty to, to do. Alright, we just unlocked Fortress. Core sector systems, that's always a good one, even though I am not maxed out by any point. By any means at this point. Occupation garrisons. Military academy. Uh, and that's another cheap one. Oh, and there's a unrest modifier. Oh, terraforming inhabited planets. should still be there. Let's take the cheaper option first. Okay. We just explored that wormhole. And it connects to Sapid. Oh, interesting. <laughs> oh, and that would totally create this little arm right here that I could uh, tap into. They like us now. We're just starting to uh, build trust with one another. wouldn't be able to they have their own federation they wouldn't be able to join but they are federation builders and there's no reason that they would stop liking us Let's start with taking that science ship, and we're going to go through to the other side, and then survey all of these systems.
Construction project concluded. All right, so we finally started expanding into this arm here. And there are lots of good things available. Let's start with the research station. Okay, Karamulan and Tyal have finally Oh, Cromulon lost. Actually, it should make them more receptive uh, to joining the Federation now. Let's see. Yeah, mutual threats. Fight to Federation. How far off are we? Distance is minus seven. So overall, it's oh, they're already associated with another one. And which one is that? The Galactic Cord. Construction project concluded. Now, how are we doing? Where is uh colony ship? Okay, it's it's heading out. It's on its way. System survey concluded. Construction project concluded. That's upgradable here. Your platform. Plenty of empty modules still. Let's see, Tadasa. Let's fill, finish those money stations. System off. survey concluded. Construction project concluded. So I'm still down here by the bottom. Poltran Og is below me. Uh, Moise Huxjin and I are very much equivalent now. It's weird how we went from strong friends to <laughs> heavy enemies so fast, but uh, it works. System survey concluded. I 
Uh -oh. Construction project. Everite's not liking us so much now. They're in the association status. Would hurt to lose them. Let's see if I can't. Uh... Fix this. Let's see. Okay, we have no trade deal any longer, so maybe we should start with that. transfer plus four. That's already enough to get that uh, deal done. Ooh, what strategic resources do they have? That's the one I'm about to unlock through research. Construction project concluded. Edicts have expired already. Uh, let's see. Education, recycling, healthcare. Those are all cheap as we have plenty of energy credits. Unfortunately, we can't afford any of these now. Search concluded. Chemical bliss. Yeah, what does that one do? Deep tissue implants are the latest innovation in the revolutionary overlapping of sensory engineering and entertainment experiences. Where we're going. We won't need skin to feel. Well, it's cheap and rare, I suppose. I don't necessarily have to set it. Ooh, we found the abandoned amusement park. This one's fun. Structures on Naranka 4 are not as old as we first believed. It seems to be a playground or amusement park of some sort. Science officer Hostis Mycelius notes that many of the contraptions are highly complex creations that we can learn much from, and that the builders alienize this might have been a cutting-edge sensor array or even a gigantic art installation regardless to us olympians it looks mostly like a place where you would take your young and let them amuse themselves mm -hmm. 
Travel tech and number eight. That's good. Anomaly found. Oh no! Federation Association ended. All that work into the number eights, and it's gone. Just because of Moish Huxgen again. And they are the stronger. See? It's your fault. You're gonna die. <laughs> when I can make it happen, anyway. <laughs> like that you're hostile. Dang it. All that work. And they get hostile just like that. I mean we just made Research a new trade deal concluded. days ago. <laughs> Should pull points. There's another one. And cheap. ship has nearly reached and it will begin soon let's see I know I'm gonna need to start contributing Federation ships here at some point. Alien drag racing. The crater on XR7394 exhibits long, irregular marks imprinted into the rel relatively soft upper layers of the asteroid. Science officer Mycelius has recovered some interesting, unexpected wreckage from the edges of the depression. Wheeled vehicles, seemingly personal transports rather than research craft. The crew of the Ptolemies speculate that the crater may once have been used for sport, with some alien species pitting their personal locomotion devices against each other in tests of mechanical strength or speed in near zero G. Ooh, that was a plus six for science. And the type that I need. That should all be this area down here, right? Yeah. Naraka, plus 12. I need to get down there. But, I don't want to make enemies of these guys. We'll see, this is looking pretty good down here. System survey this, concluded. If these two systems provide some quality as well. I, think I might just go grab that area. Initial colonization phase commencing. There we go, finally. How are we doing on that terraforming? Yeah, that's coming along pretty fast. Alright, okay, now let's take a look see what kind of upgrades can be done uh, or like in this case clearing mm. some tiles system survey concluded
Tile blocker cleared. System survey concluded. Construction project concluded. So there are some decent options coming in here. Uh, let's see, Sir Gog societal shift. We've made great strides in writing the Sir Gog of the super uh, ridding them of the superstitions and primitive beliefs that plagued their society. They are beginning to see the value of science and rationality. Uh, that is the primitive civilization that we've been watching over tile blocker cleared at the engineering facility okay the planet's quickly colonizing it's already halfway done tile blocker cleared Tile blocker cleared. Research concluded. Nice tachyon sensors. That was an expensive one. Took a long time, but uh, oh, wow, all four choices right now are going to take a really long time here. Uh, so what do we have? Physics research plus twenty. Armor hit points plus twenty. Neutron launchers and a zero point reactor. Wow, that is some options, isn't it? Uh, the cheapest is this. And the armor hit points are nice. So I suppose that's where I'll go next. Construction project concluded. Construction project concluded. Okay, uh, more improvements to the Sergog. Let's see, they are... Fleet enhancement right supplied. Fleet enhancement supplied. Yeah. They're in the Renaissance age, so they've got some time to go. Now I'm getting insults Research from the Neverites. Okay, that chemical bliss is done. Later capacity and recruitment cost. Edict cost. Uh, I like that, as I'm definitely using the and that's my cheapest option, so we're going to do that one. So I've started using those edicts quite frequently. Construction project concluded. Ooh, they finished down here, so what's the good word? Oh, not much down here. This is good. This is good. But is it worth it to get the tension? What's... What would it cost to... Not a crazy amount, actually. Uh, so I, I guess that's considering that next door to what I have now. Be nice to get into this unclaimed territory. So much of it's still out there. 
Uh, we need to get them back. Let's see. Where do I want to bring them? Suppose just back. Hmm, that big question do I want to expand that way or not? debating this. Uh, I guess this one's a lot closer. Uh, let's do it. Fortune favors the bold, right? Initial colonization phase complete. All right, we have our 10th planet. And they continue to shift here in Sergog, the Sergog people. Star Fortress, uh, what do we have for modules? Uh, shipyard, Anchorage, Anchorage is good because of the naval capacity. Adding those make the station itself stronger, but I like the Anchorage yeah. one. Construction project concluded. Nice. Governor got has new skills. Okay, can't add two crew quarters. That would be nice. Uh, let's see, there's food. Storage bonuses. Listening post. Fleet Academy. Weapons range. Unrest in the system, okay. Curator think tank. Now that would be a nice one. Resource silo is certainly useful. We 
will have the anchorage there in a little bit, so it's not a bad thing to talk about adding that other option there. Research concluded. We should add another shipyard here. Okay, robot space torpedoes, flak cannons. The railgun is definitely something I've been using. So I suppose that's a good direction to go. Terraforming is getting closer to being done. I could probably start on the next planet on terraforming. There's an alpine, 18 tiles. Construction project concluded. Construction project concluded. Construction project concluded. Just because they have cast a spell eye doesn't mean that they're going to use it. <laughs> At least hopefully that's the case, as they were friendly. Yeah, so the border friction's minimal. Construction project concluded. This is the obvious choice. Building upkeep and starbase upkeep reduced by 10%. So that'll definitely have a benefit, and especially that it'll close off prosperity and give us an ascension perk. What can we do? Enigmatic engineering, galactic force production. Projection, naval capacity, and fleet command limit. That's big. I mean, that's doubling the size of my fleet. Interstellar domain. Grasp the void. Eternal vigilance. One vision. Monthly unity. Which one's... No. Oh, that's Unity. I, I'm okay there. Uh, clear blocker cost. Edict duration. I like that one, but that's not huge. Okay. Well, this looks pretty clear on where I'm going to go with this one. Galactic force projection. The fleet is the instrument by which the will of our empire is made manifest. We live or die depending on its strength. Naval capacity plus 80 and fleet command limit plus 20. Look at that. Naval capacity just jumped to 
152 ships. Wow. see if that caused any changes at all. Pultran Og is now seen as inferior. Caught up on Debulon and Raltek are now equivalents. And now there's only one overwhelming instead of Oh wow, the Ganvius Kane. I have a larger naval capacity than them now. Yeah, that, that naval capacity, massive difference. Massive. Now I just need a fleet to uh, get up there in size. Alrighty, so definitely starting to make some progress. Uh, my factions uh, are getting a little bit happier now too. I'm terraforming two planets uh, to continue expansion of my overall planets. And I'm starting to catch up on some of my neighbors. Uh, the bad thing to happen was we lost uh, Neverite. Construction uh, they project decided they concluded. don't like us anymore. After all that work, all that effort up here soon. Uh, I'm starting to grow my fleet and the big one, my fleet capacity uh, has construction project grown concluded immensely. Construction project concluded. So just like that my fleet strength is starting to climb. <laughs> Just one more there. That Corvette part was all messed up. It didn't want to match. What do we have here? Oh, it's my turn as leader. Okay, well there you go. There's a big change going into uh, the next episode as I'll be working on that fleet as well. Because uh, as far as I know, there is no uh, Federation fleet just yet. Wow, look how many more ships I have than they do right now. But they have a lot more armies. Ah, there is a fleet now. Federation fleet of 12 ships. Which is 6 destroyers. And it's got a fleet capacity of 135. I have to get in there and uh, take a look at that, see what we could do to add to the size of that fleet in the next episode. Uh, that does it for this episode. I'm Decathlon Gamer, and remember, I'm aiming for the best of the best. So if you're ready to join me on my journey, hit subscribe, and tune in next time on my Road to the Record. Bye for now.